back to my channel. My name is Sarah Vita. If you don't already know, which you probably don't, and if you're returning, then, um, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, today, uh, we're just gonna talk about the modern day queen of rockabilly, or she was. So, Emile de May, love her. She's amazing. I love her so much. Um, so yeah, that's, like, you know, I was always wondering, you know, what happened to her, but she still makes music and stuff, but I always, I was wondering why, you know, she quit making rockabilly music, because, I mean, she still has a beautiful voice, I still absolutely adore her, I think she is, she's one of my biggest inspirations, I love her so much, and for, you know, a few years she was really big, and rockabilly slash vintage slash pinup slash whatever the hell you want to call it uh culture so yeah that is a helicopter anyways um so yeah if you don't know who Imelda May is which I'm assuming you do because yeah not a lot of people know about Imelda May unless you are vintage inclined so and so if you don't know, she's been around pretty much since like 2003, um, but she didn't really get popular until she did uh, Love Tattoo, which was 2008, and she's always had this signature blonde, and I don't know what's going on with this lighting. Y'all, it's always something. And I always had a signature blonde, which is part of the reason I like to always have blonde in my bangs. Um, seriously, I can't do this. We're gonna try this and see if it's a little bit brighter. Sorry, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, so continuing um but yeah and i remember when she came out with tribal um which i pre-ordered it came out uh i think july 5th and wrote it down 2017 hi i'm a zebra um not 2017 shit 2014 is when tribal came out and all of a sudden after that which was a really big hit which is probably my favorite cd by her honestly and i've been a fan of her since the Love Tattoo album, um, and it has all the, all the good ones on it, but, uh, I don't know, I just really like Tribal, like the whole CD, love it, love it, love it, but then, you know, and she had a baby too, let's not forget she had a, uh, she had a baby, um, you know, she was married, whatever, but then all of a sudden, you know, yeah, she got divorced until 2015, see, some stuff I had to write down, because my brain is, so... She did get divorced in 2015, um, which was the year after they did Tribal, um, because her husband it was also in the band, actually, um, uh, so, yeah, pretty much, um, and then she just kind of disappeared. You didn't really hear much about her for a couple years, and I'm like, where the hell is Imelda May? Like, where is she? <laughs> and all of a sudden she comes back, and yeah, 2017... With a totally different look, and, like, different, she got rid of her, this would be her signature hairstyle, which I'll insert pictures and stuff, too, but, yeah, just trying to, whatever, <laughs> manifest, I don't know, but yeah, and she just didn't even sound, like, she pretty much dropped the whole rockabilly thing, she just, you know, I don't know. Which I understand, you know, going through a divorce, cause I've never been through a divorce, I ain't been married, uh, but, you know, I'm sure that takes a lot out of you, and probably, you know, I'm thinking, because there's not really a lot of information about it, it's just like they got divorced and blah blah blah, cool, fair enough, we don't need to know everybody's business, you know, cool, I don't want people to know my business either unless I tell you, so I understand that, um, but yeah, so pretty much she just reinvented herself, basically, you know, because... I mean, that's a pretty long time to be, you know, getting into the rockabilly scene, because I didn't know who the hell she was in 2003, I'll just be honest. In fact, I didn't really know how she was until I was about 17, so about 10 years ago, and, you know, so, I don't know, and then she, like I said, she just, like, blew up, and then all of a sudden, like, yeah, she just reinvented herself, basically. And now, her newer stuff is good, but it's not... I mean, she still has a beautiful voice. I always think that she has the most beautiful voice in the world, besides, like, the original rockabilly queen, Brenda Lee, uh, and even Patsy Cline. 
She's not queen of rockabilly, but you know, Patsy Cline, Big Mama Thornton, all that happy stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what happened to her. And like I was saying, I'm not really a big fan. I don't really like slow music. I don't really like her newer stuff. Um, I always love her voice. I'm just, I don't know. It's just, I mean, I'm proud of her for being, you know, reinventing herself or whatever. But it's just like, you were the reigning queen. Modern queen. But it's just, I don't know. But that's what happened, if y'all are wondering. But there are two bands that I really like, which you probably already heard them if you are into that type of music and style or genre or whatever the hell. Um, that, you know maybe could be kind of like a replacement for Amelda May. Not really a replacement. How do I... Like, at newer bands... <sighs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but that would be, uh, obviously, Jane Rose and the Dead End Boys. I love them. Um, they come out with new music periodically. Uh, pretty, uh... Pretty, uh... What are words today, y'all? I don't even know what a word is today. What are you doing, cat? My cat. Anywho, I'm busy, sir. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm just gonna ignore you. Just keep keep doing it. All right. Um. So yeah, Jane Rose and the Dead End Boys. I do like them. Um. So yeah, really nice. I like the bluesy type voices and the big belty voices and stuff like that another one is the high drivers high drivers are really good too um they're actually usually at the nashville boogie nashville boogie i believe it is they usually play that uh, i've never been unfortunately but uh i would love to go i'm in north carolina so which tennessee is not that far but nashville tennessee so yeah it's, it's but one day I really want to go to Nashville Boogie. So, um, anyway, if anyone else was wondering, even though this is obviously kind of old news, because, yeah, 2017 is when she kind of just re-did everything and was like, well, goodbye, everyone. Well, now I'm this way. So, yeah, if you're wondering, you're too lazy to Google, then, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, also, what's your favorite song by Amelda May? Leave a comment below. Um, what other rockabilly bands do you like that you think, um, you know, have a female voice, front, front, front woman, singer, <laughs> that you like and also think that are just as good as Amelda May as well? And also, that's the two that I mentioned, the High Drivers and Jane Bros and the Dead End Boys. They're not, like, the only ones. It's just two of my favorite ones. Um, and Relax Trio, but they're more like kind of a little psychobilly a little bit. A little bit. Uh, they're a little bit heavier. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, I come out with m movies. I come out with movies. I come out with new videos every Monday, so yeah. <laughs> and I do all sorts of other shit. I just do it all pretty much. Um, so anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will holler at y'all later. Sound good? And